Half-Life Alex was fantastic. I think the biggest problem facing the game is that it was released on a platform that isn't necessarily the most affordable for the majority of the individuals who want to experience a new Half-Life game to begin with. So nowadays, post Half-Life Alex and post that new cliffhanger that we're all going to have to deal with, it's a common question on whether or not Half-Life 3 was actually confirmed or discussed at any meaningful capacity. Will we be seeing any form of Half-Life anytime soon? Will that wilderness period discussed in the final hours of Half-Life Alex truly be over, and what's Valve doing right now in terms of software development outside of their core three multiplayer titles? Let's talk a little bit about the state of Half-Life and what we're kind of seeing for the next few years in terms of that franchise utilization officially by Valve Software. This video is sponsored by GMG Performance. These are blue light blocking glasses that are incredibly affordable. Wear these in long gaming sessions and mitigate any eye strain or migraines while looking at screens. We're completely surrounded by screens 24 seven. Even when you're asleep, there, there's a screen in there. And while you're looking at those, your eyes, they're dying. So these, well, these help that death. Mitigate it. GMG Performance really helps with eye strain, improves your concentration, encourages eye reflexes, and maintains your quality of vision over a long period of time. Do you know how bad my vision is because of VR? GMG Performance comes in many different styles from the classy to the sassy. And GMG Performance is having a special Black Friday sale, 50% off until November 29th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard time. So if you're looking to mitigate those migraines, check out GMG Performance and possibly buy a few pairs this year. So the point of today is kind of a checkpoint. Exactly where we're at at the time of recording in terms of the Half-Life franchise. So to get the big question out of the way, is there a true follow-up to Half-Life 2 Episode 2 in development in any capacity at Valve Software? The end of Half-Life Alex, for those who haven't played it, heavily hints towards the continuation of Gordon Freeman's story. The issue is that no. At the current time, there isn't a major development team working on anything outside of the few pieces of software that are specifically tailored for hardware. Right now, Valve is trying to get the Steam Deck out. And like many people have observed, the Steam Deck has been significantly more successful than originally anticipated, so Valve is throwing a lot at it. Half-Life 3, Half-Life 2 Episode 3, any kind of traditional mouse and keyboard first-person shooter at Valve is not taking place. If it is, it's a very small group of people and those individuals will not be seen as value generating by the higher-ups. Doesn't speak well for their long-term employment. Although I have a lot to say on whether or not Valve is actually capable of following up and keeping up with a format or platform longer than a few years, the Steam Deck is definitely going to be a success upon launch, and Valve is working on a piece of software to best showcase what the Steam Deck is capable of doing. Citadel. We have multiple reports on what it is, but in recent times we've learned a bit more. This is a nostalgia fest. This is a Half-Life based FPS RTS hybrid that is cooperatively based. Think about Left 4 Dead and Alien Swarm and an RTS and Half-Life all having a baby. It's being created with the Steam Deck in mind due to how the game is supposed to be controlled. Originally there was a VR asymmetric cooperative component, however due to Valve's almost lackluster view on virtual reality in current day, it is very possible that that point is being set aside. What I will say is that Citadel is still very much in development, and although a lot of the people working on Citadel have kind of moved over to the Steam Deck team to help ship that product, it is still very much something people are working on and people will go back to. Any of the issues that we discuss in this video will likely not fall onto Citadel due to the number of people on it, the legitimacy of the individuals running the team, and the amount of work already completed on it. Half-Life Alex was the showcase of what PC VR was capable of doing, and unfortunately, Half-Life Alex did not do what Valve wanted it to do. It wasn't necessarily about moving software units, it was more so attempting to turn the tide in the PC VR marketplace. Nowadays, we have Facebook or Meta or whatever buying out the majority of the good VR developers. It doesn't really matter what Facebook does, the majority of the VR gamers are still going to be checking out the Quest, because because the quest is sold at such a loss, it's 
dumb. Valve was somewhat expecting Half-Life Alex to be the flag planted in PC VR to kind of move things back over their ways. Facebook is willing to play dirty. Valve is unwilling to play at all. We have reports of people leaving Valve in order to pursue further VR development. Any hardware or software being developed for the VR platform at current time is not a focus and could very well be used against those developers. The next Valve HMD is in development. And yes, a significant amount of stuff has been happening behind the scenes in relation to patents, copyrights, manufacturing of different components, etc, etc. We are years off from Valve releasing the standalone hybrid wireless VR headset that they are working on because they're very much focused on the Steam Deck. They're very much focused on the software side of the Steam Deck. Couple that with the growing internal disappointment with the virtual reality platform on the PC and fewer and fewer people continue to work on that hardware base. This also brings into question HLX. HLX is an interesting beast. HLX is attempting to showcase what standalone x86-based VR units are capable of. This is a game being built on top of the mechanical backbone that built Half-Life Alex, but being optimized to run on significantly lower-end hardware. This is also something that, at this point, has mostly just been in the mechanical testing phases, where the idea of whatever story it will take place in hasn't necessarily been decided on and could really go in multiple directions. Because the number of people actually working on a project such as this is so small compared to literally any other project at Valve right now, and it's looking like it's going to fall for what we call the winter break syndrome. Valve has this phenomena where due to the open-ended nature of individuals' choice in terms of what they work on, when there is a large gap between days of work things can change dramatically. And this is most apparent through the winter break. A lot of Valve will just leave the office or stop working around early to mid-December and not start back up again until early to mid-January. That one month period is excellent for creating new ideas, for when you come back to the office to then pitch. Many projects that were in legitimate development before winter break have died, such as Team Fortress 2 Invasion. HLX is already such a small team, being built on a platform that the majority of Valve doesn't necessarily see a major future in. Keeping a project alive at Valve, especially a project that has significant naysayers, is almost impossible. The majority of the people that made Half-Life Alex possible and pulled the Half-Life franchise out of the wilderness is now working on the Steam Deck and, to a smaller degree Citadel. Where is the future of Half-Life? Cooperative first-person shooter RTS hybrid codenamed Citadel that we will be seeing within the next year and a half to two years. My merch store is having a massive sale. If you want to get any of my limited time winter merch, everything until November 29th is massively on sale. And I hope you uh, enjoy it because we haven't getting really good reports on it. By the way, if you get any of it, send me a picture of you wearing it. I might feature you in these videos. People seem to enjoy that kind of stuff. And I want to see you wear the, the merch. Uh, follow the Twitter page to keep up to date on everything I cover in real time. Uh, join my Discord server to find out what I'm doing, play games with me, and all that cool fun stuff. And I hope you have a good day. I hope you had a good holiday, and I hope you continue to have a good holiday. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm Tyler McVicker. Have a great month. Adios.